In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create project timelines or a Gantt chart in Excel and PowerPoint on a single click of a button. I have created this particular table in Excel with five different columns starting with the task, description, start date, end date, duration and predecessor. Here I have defined my task starting from requirement, design, development, testing, pilot and rollout. Then you can define your start date and end date of each task. This is the duration column which is coming from the formula and then you can put your predecessor here. So as you can see here, I have got only currently there's only one sheet which is task. So when I click the project plan button, create project plan button, it will create another sheet with the Gantt chart as well as it opens a PowerPoint uh, a slide with a image format. So let me just show you how it works. So when I click the create project plan button, it will take less than three to four seconds it's done so it says the Gantt chart exported to PowerPoint as well click OK you can see here our Gantt chart in Excel is ready in a different sheet these are my tasks this is the Gantt chart this is editable I can just go and change the font color reduce the font size if I want and change different color combinations according to your requirement as well as if you see here PowerPoint it has created one slide with a PNG format and this particular slide you can add to your main presentations as well. So let's see how to do this particular task in PowerPoint and Excel. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new excel sheet and rename the sheet one to tasks and then i'm going to insert the project timelines for that the first column will be tasks or the description so i'm going to name it as task remember that whatever the name which i'm using you have to use the same name so the second column is the start date, end date, duration and predecessor. Alright, so you can add the task depending on the, your requirement. So let me just copy the task from my existing data and make sure that the start date and end date should always be a date so how to change that one is you can just simply go to uh, more number formats and you can just go and select for example a date so instead of selecting any date from here you can make it custom as well so custom you can just make this as dd mm yyy and click ok all right so let me just paste that information here let me just copy once again copy and paste the information this will save my time so you can see here I've got the task for example which is the requirements design development testing pilot and rollout and you know who are in the project management they can understand the predecessor that means this particular task the design will not start unless and until the requirements are finished the same thing the development cannot start till the design is uh, finished so that's the reason we are putting the predecessor uh, column here right so once this is done the next very important part is you need to convert this into a table for that place anywhere your cursor all right highlight or select any column and press Control t and it says that my table has header yes and click ok it converts into a table and you have to rename the table here it says as table one so you have to go to the table design instead of table one i'll just say tbl tasks so this is my table now we can add one simple formula to get the duration days as well so the duration will be 
equal sign just select the end date minus start date plus one and press enter key so you can see here we have got the duration 25 days 15 days 14 days 8 13 and 20 days so my basic design is almost ready the next thing which we need to do is to add the macros here first of all to add the macros we have to make the macro enable so what you can do here simply is from the keyboard press alt and f11 alt and f11 it will take you to the microsoft visual basic for application which is vba then right mouse click go to the insert click on the module right here this is the place where you can write your code so i have already have the code here so i'm going to just select this code control a control c go to the vb editor control v paste that's it just close this one then go to the insert you can just go to the shapes or i can just type simply shapes here and I'm going to insert one rounded rectangle, draw a rounded rectangle, and I'm going to say create, uh, say project plan. All right. So again, if you want, you can just beautify this one, center align, and all those things. Anyway, I'm not going to do all those things. Then right mouse click, link or you can just assign macro sorry just go to assign macro already the macro is there which is build gant from table click ok and you have to make sure that when you are saving this file you have to save as so here you can just save the file and make sure that you give the proper name i have just given project plan here and instead of just excel workbook you need to just go and change to excel macro enabled workbook and once that is done click save the file got saved as you can see here so now the next thing which you need to do is just go and click the project plan and once you click the project plan just see what happens you can see here there's only one currently there's only one sheet which is task and when i click create done your in its open a powerpoint it has created a image here all right and if you go to the excel it has created one more uh, file call uh, the sheet called gant and then you have got the information here i can just select i can just do some editing part maybe this one should be a white font if you want you can just reduce the file uh, the font size and done so you can see here we have got the requirement design C requirement the design will happen only after the requirement is finished I have given the start date and end date for each task here so let me just add one more uh, row here so I'm just copying this one control C control V and say this is the second rollout for example I'm just going to say second rollout and the end date for this one is 1504 so now for this one i'm going to make this as fourth of instead of 15th i'm going to make it as 17th and here instead of 15th i'm going to make it as say 25 so it is total nine days and this predecessor should happen after the five as you can see here the second rollout is there but still the information is not there so what i need to do is simply come and click the project plan you can see here it has inserted here it has made the one excel sheet ready as you can see here second rollout with the information is also available so let me just go and close this one and your project plan is ready again if you want any changes you want you can just do any number of changes here